This video is sponsored by Brilliant. What? A Death Star? Why? To blow up planets? Are you with Lockheed? Galactic Empire. Oh, okay. So, how much do you think this will cost? Infinite money. How infinite? Countably. Okay, so we might have to do some layoffs in HR, but should be within budget. And then, how many years do you think this will take? All of them. So, it'll be done by... By the year tree of three plus grams number cubed. Plus another seven for testing. Can we release in the second quarter of that year? Yeah, no problem. Perfect, shareholders will like that. And then, how many workers will you need? 12 should be fine. Okay, well, looks like that's all that I need. So uh, let me take you to the boss now, and he'll tell you a little more about the project. Okay, so here's what I'm picturing right now, right? First, gotta be spherical. Like this. That's impressive. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going for. Yeah, the shape is fine, but one thing I want to talk about is generating gravity. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how you won't weigh that much if we don't generate additional gravity. Are you saying I've slimmed down? Not at all. Well, the scale would disagree. Yeah, but generating gravity. Still pretty important. Here, let me see your table of contents. I don't have a table of contents. Minus two points. What's this out of? Ten. Wow, that's strict. Let's talk lasers. Now, can ours be green? Sure. Excellent. Oh, and can the lasers come out like one at a time and then combine into the single beam that charges up and then it's all like... No. Why not? Because that's not how lasers work. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Take it up with physics. See, what we should be focusing on is how yeah, we Yeah, but I feel like we keep coming back to this laser combining thing. But we're not, right? But do you know how cool this will look? Like, if you're going to kill a bunch of people, at least give them a show, right? Like, okay, so I was reading about destructive interference. Is that a thing? Yes. Okay, so it seems possible. Now, moving on to our next topic. Okay, so we are building an army of droids. Right. But we think they should run on iOS. Yeah, I think everyone agrees. But something we do need to talk about that is going to be pretty difficult is the tractor beam. Ooh, but what if we didn't want to build a Death Star uh, on a fucking farm? No, tractor beam doesn't mean, like... It's basically a weapon that sucks in other ships. Like Kirby? It's exactly like Kirby. Even if the ships are far away? Yeah, they can be pretty far. So is that what they call spooky action at a distance? That's exactly what that is. Actually, I would love if we could build this near the first planet we're going to destroy. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that too, because that's going to take, like, a lot of power. I mean, that's why the Death Star has to be so big in the first place. So the first one we're blowing up is Alderaan. Uh, I'm from Alderaan. But if we try and it doesn't work... That's going to be so awkward. Like, can you imagine? I have some sick line, I fire the laser, and like a piece of grass catches on fire, and that's it. Oh my god, I would literally never show my face in public again. Can we maybe not destroy the planet I live on? Come on, it won't be the end of the world. It would literally be the end of that world. Okay, if you want to be dramatic about it. Now, last thing we need to talk about, probably don't even have to ask, but I will. Uh, the Death Star won't have any weaknesses, right? It'll have one weakness. That is five too many. Can you picture how big... Like, leave the weaknesses for Jedis and Italians. Super random. Like, if there's even half a weakness, I'll puke in my mask. You have a weird gag reflex. Oh, okay. I just thought of something super smart. I doubt it. The Death Star will be made of matter. According to facts. And matter cannot be created nor destroyed. So, according to the first law of science, I think we're good. I have no argument. Well, that's why I'm in charge. 
can't teach you everything at university, but they can teach you a lot over at Brilliant, which I've been using to enhance my STEM knowledge. What are you doing? Because see, Brilliant is this educational platform home to thousands of lessons in math, science, and engineering, with new lessons being added monthly. And these are filled with constant practice problems, as well as intuitive visuals and animations to help you understand how even the more advanced topics apply to the universe and galactic empire around us. And it doesn't matter what level of education you're at, because Brilliant has lessons ranging from basic geometry, to group theory, to quantum mechanics, and plenty more. Is this how you guys are paying for the Death Star? And you can now try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days. Just go to brilliant.org slash Zachstar, or click the link in the description below. Plus, the first 200 of you to sign up will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Done. Finally.